Next, let's talk about how we would implement the stir function and the repr function. Because those are generic functions. They can take in any kind of object and they return something reasonable, either a human or Python interpretable string. These are called polymorphic functions. A polymorphic function is a function that can be applied to many, poly is the root for many, different forms, the morph is the room for form, of data. So stir and wrapper are both polymorphic. They apply to anything. You can pass in anything you want. Now, how do they achieve this generic magic? Well, they just always invoke the same zero argument method on their arguments. So repr invokes the special method name underscore underscore repr underscore underscore. So we can get the same behavior if we take today and we invoke its repr method, then uh, we get the repr string. So repr is actually a really simple function. It just asks the object that's passed into it how it's supposed to be represented. And stir invokes a zero argument method underscore underscore stir. So for the today object, we invoke its stir method and we get back the hyphenated human readable representation of that D. Okay, so how do we implement repr and stir? Well, the behavior of repr is slightly more complicated than I told you. It doesn't just invoke repr on its argument. How do we know that? Well, an instance attribute called repr is ignored. So in Python, I'll create a new class called bear. A uh, scary bear. And let's create an instance of that class named Oski. So what is Oski here? Oski is a bear object. It doesn't have any other attributes that we've given it, so there isn't much going on there with Oski so far. But we'd like Oski to be able to do something useful. Like, for instance, when I said OSCII, it would be nice if instead it printed out Go Bears. So how about I give a repr method to OSCII, which takes no additional arguments to invoke, and prints out Go Bears. If I invoke that repr method on OSCII, it will say Go Bears. But if I print OSCII out, it still says it's just a bear object. So, uh, repr, the generic function, doesn't just invoke the repr method on the instance that was passed to it. But there is a way to get the behavior we want. We can take the bear class, give it a repr method, which has to take in the instance object itself. It will ignore that instance object and instead just return the string go bears. Now when I say OSCII, it says go bears, because that is the repr string for OSCII. So what? So how would we implement this behavior, where it looks up repr on the class, but it ignores it on the instance? I'll bet we can do that. Let's def repr in the following way. It takes in some object, it gets the type of that object, it invokes the special repr method on that, and passes in the object as the argument. So let's get our bear class in here, and create OSCII the instance, and on OSCII, we'll add a repr instance attribute, which is a function that should be ignored. I am OSCII. And then on the bear class, we will add a repr method, which takes one argument, ignores it, and says, I am a bear. So if we load this file that we've created, and we have a look at OSCII, OSCII's repr string is, I am a bear, not I am OSCII, even though it's the case that if I invoke repr directly on OSCII, it says, I am OSCII. And likewise, we've created a repr function right here, the function repr that we call on OSCII gives us the same behavior. It says, I am a bear. So we've implemented it correctly. Okay, what about the behavior of stir? 
An instance attribute called str is ignored, just like before. If no str attribute is found, we use the repr string instead. So what's the str of OSCII? I am a bear. What if instead we had added a str as a human interpretable expression to the bear class that says I am actually a person in a bear suit. And then we take a look at OSCII. Still the repr string is I am a bear, but if we print OSCII out at this point, it will say I am actually a person because that invokes the stir function. And how will we implement that behavior? Well, that's not too tricky either. So, um, Let's up here define our own stir, which takes in an object. And what it's going to do is get the type of that object. It's going to see if that object has an attribute called stir. If the type has a stir method, then we'll just invoke it. So we'll do t stir and call that on the object. Otherwise, let's just call repr on the object. And we'll return that. So it should be the case that when we call our own stir function that we just defined on OSCII, it says, I am actually a person, just like the built-in stir function. And so we've implemented repr and stir. Stir is a class, by the way, not a function. 